Hey there. I want to take a second to talk about the multi-tenant plugin that we just released for Payload. If you don't know what multi-tenant is, it's when you have, in most cases, clients, you're spitting out websites and you want your clients to log into the same admin panel, but you don't want them to see each other's content. Or maybe you work in a business and you have different organizations and you don't want the organizations to see each other's, you know, they want, you want them to stay focused on the thing that they are set out to do. So that's kind of what multi-tenancy does. It allows you to separate um, users and this plugin helps do that in a fairly easy way. So we have a tenants collection, a users collection, food items collection, and a food menu collection. Tenants collection, you have to add a tenants collection. And I've already done this here. My example is restaurants. So I have two clients and they are in the restaurant business. So Steelcat, Blue Dog, they're two restaurants. I can assign users to a restaurant. So if I go to users, I have Huel and Jane. Huel is assigned to Steelcat and Jane is assigned to Blue Dog. And when Jane logs in, Jane will only be able to see Blue Dog related content. And when Huel logs in, Huel will only be able to see Steelcat related content. I'm logged in as a super admin. So if I look at my account here, I just have a rule as admin. We, the plugin allows you to define exactly how you determine what users are super admin. So this is not like strict to, you need to use this field. Um, but in my example, this is just what I'm doing. And as a super admin, I can go to a collection and I can see all items for every tenant, or I can filter down by like blue dog and only see the blue dog items. And then same for steel cat. Um, two more things, two quick things. It also allows you to kind of come up with like a global pattern. So with tenants, you can't really have a global um, config because collect because you need to have multiple documents and they just need to be one per tenant instead of a global, which is like one document that the whole, that everybody shares. That doesn't really work for tenancy. So you have, there's a way to mark collections as globals. And when you do that, you get, and you click on this one, this one's marked as global. There's no list view. It goes right to the document. And then if I switch to blue dog, it goes right to the blue dog one, which is pretty cool. And then when Jane logs in, she will only be able to go to the blue dog. He will only be able to go to the steel cat. The last thing here is uh, relationship filter options. So this is built into baked into the plugin. So this is a, I'm on the blue dog tenant, and this is a relationship field to food items, which has a tenant field on it. And so it filters all the items based on the tenant that I currently have selected. So if I change this to steel cat, you'll see that the items are different. These are the steel cat items, which is just like a boilerplate that you don't need to worry about when you use this plugin, but you would need to worry about if you were rolling your own multi-tenancy solution. Um, that's really all I have. Uh, the only thing I could probably show you is when I log in as, let's say Jane, there's no selector because she only has one tenant. She can only see her tenant. She can't see steel cat tenant. She can only see users that are in the same tenancy as she is food items, there's no way to filter, and then the menu, same kind of thing. But yeah, that's really it. That's all I have. I hope you learned something. I hope you check out the new plugin. Um, if you have any feedback, feedback, hit me up on Discord or Twitter. Yeah, catch you in the next one. Peace.